subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can apply for ielts test in pakistan so let's begin this video so before i begin to tell you how you can apply for ielts test there are some things that you need to have first of all you need to have your cnic or identity card uh, the second thing that you need to have is of course your computer or uh, laptop on whichever you're going to fill up the form and the third thing is that you need to have some kind of payment method for the payment method i'm not going to go in detail for this video i will go in full depth detail for the payment method in the next video so first of all we're going to fill up the form for ielts test and then we're going to uh, see how you can book up the dates etc for your ielts test so here it is so here i am on my windows pc you need to open any of your browsers you need to open this website take ielts.britishcouncil.org i will put this website link in the video description just below the like button so first of all what you need to do is to select the country from where you're going to apply for ielts obviously i'm li uh, living in pakistan so i'm going to select pakistan from here and now it, this website is automatically going to open another website of ielts which is for pakistan as you can see britishcouncil.pk so here you can see uh, we can uh, select a test if i go uh, down here we have uh, we got our test type location its fee in pkr uh, there are two types of tests in IELTS uh, one is computer based and the other is paper based so uh, both of these fees may vary and uh, we have our academic and general training etc etc so I'm going to apply for IELTS because I want to study abroad in Australia so I'm going to select the IELTS academic test if you're going to apply for some other reason you need to first concern IELTS website to see which type of test you should apply for for me I'm a student I'm going to study abroad so that's why I'm going to take the IELTS academic test so here we got our location uh, I live near Islamabad so I'm going to find the center that is near Islamabad or Rawalpindi here we have IELTS academic and general training in center on paper it includes 16% general sales text because it is a paper based uh, test again it is available in Lahore, uh, Islamabad, Bhavalpur etc etc so I am interested in Islamabad so again you can uh, give the same test on paper as well the reason why I am not applying for uh, sorry for computer as well the reason why I am not applying for computer based is that uh, I checked the center it was like really really far away from my home even this center is uh, like uh, one hour drive from my home and the computer based center is like two and a half hour drive from one side to the center so it was really really far so that's the reason why i'm applying for the paper based test uh, and your paper based results come late like between i would say 10 to 13 days as compared to your computer based test which result come in three to five days so anyways you need to just find out the uh, test that you want to apply according to your location your test and whichever you want paper based or computer based so here it is uh, that i want ielts academic general in center and it says on paper location is islamabad and here we're going to have its fee so we're going to press on book now because i want to apply for this particular ielts test again it's going to ask which ielts test would you like to take ielts academic ielts general training ielts for uk uh, visa if you don't know which one is the best for you you can just press on this link and it will tell you the difference between three again i'm a student so i'm going to apply for ielts academic because i want to study abroad so here it says i have accessibility needs for the test date and if you can read if you want to so we're going to uncheck this box basically it means that if you have any kind of problem which may occur in the test you can uh, check this box for example if you are uh, eyesight is very weak and so you can just ask them to so that your paper has larger font size but whenever you're going to ask for an accessibility you need to prove some give them some medical proof as well so i have no problem so i'm going to leave this box unchecked so which format ielts test would you like to take ielts on paper ielts on computer i don't mind so i need to take ielts on paper because its test center is closer to my home than the computer based one when would you like to take the test so you can select any date that you want so these are the dates available i'm going to select the 29th we also have 5 12 17 26 but uh, on january 22 we have 29 which is i think around nine days from now but anyways i want to take the test as early as possible 
anyways i'm going to select the date you can select the date that you require and we're going to search for test so now it's going to show a list of centers and the timing of test available for that particular date so here is the first date as you can see the location is fortress pb isles express highway islamabad the test date is january 29 2022 the time is 13 to 16 30 which means 1 pm to 4 30 pm and the test will be listening reading and writing and the second test which is our speaking test will be held on january 25 2022 uh, at 12 20 to 12 40 so the speaking test is earlier in this case as compared to the reading test and here we have another test date as well on february 5 2022 at 1 to uh, 4 30 at ramada hotel Islamabad club road again this is much more closer to my home than the upper one which is at fortress pb isles i uh, look at on the google map so we're going to have the listening reading and writing test on february 5 and the speaking test on february 2 so you can see that the ramada hotel is the same location for both of these and if you want to view on mac you can just press on the button and it will show you the location so here is the location where the test center will be which is ramada hotel in this particular case so if you want to change the speaking time you can also do so like the speaking time is from 2 20 to 4 uh, i would say 4 40 and your upper time or listening and reading time is 1 to 4 30 you cannot change this time but if you want to change this particular time you can just press on this button and it will show you a range of uh, dates and time where you can change your speaking time so i don't want to change my speaking uh, time it's uh, quite ideal for me 222 440 and this one so once you are okay here it's going to show you the price for this ielts test we are going to book for this particular test here it's going to ask for personal details to continue with this booking you will need a valid passport or national identity card again you need to have a passport or identity card and if your age is under 18 you need to fi uh, fill up a written consent by your parents or guardian uh, again you if you want to pay online you need to have a credit card for that is on your name if i'm applying for the test then the credit card should be on my name if i'm using some other ones uh, credit card then i need to uh, provide the credit card authorization form uh, so i don't recommend if you're going to pay online through any other credit card even if it is your dad try to pay through your own or you can just go and pay cash at the uh, designated bank or you can uh, transfer money later which so here it's going to ask to create an account so that we can save all of our details and confirm our booking for the test here you need to enter your email you re need to re-enter your email and your password so i'm just going to enter these details right now so now if i go down here it says who are you booking the test for so i have selected myself because i am applying and i am going to give the test for myself if you are going to apply for your child you can select this particular option here we have our about you section so here you need to enter your first name surname so basically if my name is Sayyid Waseli, my first name would be Sayyid Wasi and my surname would, would be Ali meaning my last name so if you don't have any a surname or family name you can just uh, check this box as well you need to enter your date of birth your sex your mobile number your postal address make sure that you enter your postal address correctly because uh, ielts going to send your result and other documentation on this particular address so make sure you type it correctly your postal zip so i'm just going to enter these personal details right now okay once the personal details have been added you can select your marketing preferences if you want to receive all the emails from ielts you can select this if you want less and if you don't want any of their emails you can just select this particular option so i'm just going to select the middle one so that i receive some of their uh, of, uh, their promotions on my email anyways you need to accept to the terms and conditions after you read this so read them carefully i'm going to check box this and i'm going to press on save and continue so here you can see hi you are now logged in so it has basically logged in directly here are some of the things who are you booking for the test myself it's going to show your name uh, your date of birth your email so double check these things so once you have confirmed all these options just press on save and continue okay i have an error message field has to match specific format plus 44 meaning that i have entered my mobile number like 0 300 so you need to type plus 92 then 300 so now i'm going to press on save and continue after i have edited my mobile number 
so now here we have our identification details so you're going to select any of these passport or pakistan national identification number so make sure that if you have a passport then select the first option because you need to bring if you select the passport option then you need to bring your original passport at the test center to verify your identity so currently i don't have a passport so i'm going to select pakistan national identification number or your cnic so that i can show my identity card at the test center so that i can uh, continue with my test so i'm going to select my id card number okay please note on the test that you will be required to bring the same identification you are using for the registration as i told you now so here you need to type your cni scene number its expiry dates its issuing authority which is pakistan in our country and your country of nationality so i'm just going to fill in the details of my id card here we go i have entered my id card number its expiry date issuing authority is pakistan and our country of nationality in my country of nationality is pakistan i'm going to press on save and continue so your profile step three or five answering these questions has no impact on IELTS test result this question will help us improve our services so what is your first language it is urdu how many years have you been studying english like i would say 18 years okay what level of education have you completed so degree or equivalent which means university level so what is your occupation level it's i'm a student okay what is your occupation uh, what is your your occupation sector it's education your interest in IELTS so higher education extended course three months or more which country do you want to study it's Australia and we are going to press on save and continue okay it looks like uh, you missed a question how many years have you been studying so we're going to press select nine or more and we're going to press on save and continue so here it says you have not booked yet please check all the details carefully so here it's going to give a review of your test date you are booking IELTS academy which again you need to know i'm going to have my written test at ramada hotel islamabad club road islamabad on february 5 2022 uh, from 1 pm to 4 30 pm and we need to arrive at 11 30 we're going to have the listening reading and writing test and my speaking test will be at ramada hold on february 2 2022 from 2 20 to 4 40 and then i need to arrive at 2 pm and below here it's going to show you all of your details personal details that you entered like your name date of birth so make sure that you read all of them correctly okay once you have read all of your personal details it's going to show show your fee which is 39,440 pkr if you have any promo code you can enter it order acknowledgement who should we send the order acknowledgement for the test for so it would be myself and vat an ip number which i don't have so i'm going to set this as empty our terms and condition i'm going to select it and press on book and pay now okay you are paying 39440 pkr so if you have a credit card again which is supported visa american express etc etc you can pay through this but if you don't have a credit or debit card on your name then you shouldn't th uh, pay through this so we're going to go back so here you can see it says sorry your online payment failed we are still we have still booked your test for you but you need to try to and pay again for your test so we're going to press on see other payment options so here you can see unpaid fee is this you have until january 25 2022 so it means that they're going to give you five days to pay your fee if you are unable to pay like right now after this date your testing will be cancelled so here our is our payment reference number which is very important and here we have you can download your agreed terms and condition version okay if you want to download how would you like to pay we can pay by bank transfer which i'm going to show you in the next video so what we need to do is that here we have our fee and we're just going to pay uh, 
ielts by bank transfer so this is all for this particular video on how you can apply for ielts test and how you can fill up the form in pakistan if you have any questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below in the next part of this video i will show you how you can pay for your ielts test as if i do it this video will become very long anyways guys if you like this video like share subscribe if you have any questions write them in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and press the bell icon so that you get notified for my next upcoming video thank you for watching and stay safe